In this video, I'm going to show you how to find both discount and sales tax for an item. So if you look at the directions, it says to find the, the discount, you multiply the percent as a decimal by the original price, and then you subtract that from the original price. So I'm just going to pause there and we're going to try number one. <clears throat> so it doesn't ask us to do uh, sales tax, but I'm just going to know in general to do 8% when we get to the second part. So let's just look at the discount first. It says, number one, in the department store, a $40 dress is marked save 25%. What is the discount? All right, so I'm going to, like the direction said, start with your original price, which is $40. Then the next part says, uh, multiply by the percent as a decimal. So I'm going to look at my percent. It says save 25%. I take my 25%, drop my percent sign, and I move my decimal two places over. So my 25% as a decimal is 0.25, which I'm going to multiply by my original price. So you can go ahead and do your... Um, show your work by doing the multiplication. If you use a calculator, you can do 40 times, make sure you use that decimal, 0.25, and you should come up with $10. Now that is not the price of the item, of the dress. That $10 is your discount. That's the money that they're telling you to keep or to take off. So the last part of the first step says, subtract this discount from the original price. Well, we know the $40 was our original price, so I could take my 40, and I know that they told me to keep my $10, so I can subtract 10, and I'm left with $30 as the price of my item after the discount. So that was the original price. This was the amount that we could keep the discounted price, and once we subtract them together, we are left with the the discounted price of the item. So the second part says, to find the sales tax, multiply percent as a decimal by the original price, and I'm gonna actually change that, by the item price, and then add, um, add it back to the, to the item price. And the reason I'm changing it to item is because you're not going back to the 40, you're actually going to use the $30, which is your item price. All right, so I'm gonna split this up. On this side, I'm gonna show you the tax. So I'm gonna take my item price of $30. And here, we're gonna always use tax as 8%. So I know I need to change it to a decimal. So I drop the percent, move it two places to the left, the decimal point, and my blank space I need to fill with a zero. So 8% as a decimal is 0 0.08. So I'm gonna take my $30, multiply it by 0 0.08, and you can go ahead and do your math to show your work. If you have a calculator, you will come out with 2.4. But since we know that's money, there's always two places after the decimal point for money. So I need to make sure that I put that extra placeholder in there, making it $2.40 as my tax. This is my tax. Now the last part of this step says add your tax to the item price. So you're adding it back into your item price, not your original, you're using your item price because you already got your discount. So since my item price was 30, after the tax is added in, which is $2.40, I'm left with $32.40 as my final price. So in this video, I showed you how to find both the discount and the tax of an item.